The iPhone 11 Pro Max is an interesting device. Now, I have spent the last 30 days getting myself acquainted with iOS, what Apple has to offer with this new device. There are some good, there's some bad, but I have to say that Apple at least has impressed me this year. Now, you guys know I'm an Android user. I usually use Galaxy devices. Uh, but this time I said, look, well, let me spend some time to use the iPhone. Uh, first off the bat, uh, it still feels like an iPhone. I'm not the biggest iOS uh, fan. And I think iOS still has a long way to go, at least for me. People like it, that's fine. And this is not an OS discussion. But what does the iPhone 11 bring, uh, especially my use case for 30 days? Now, the one thing I'll say off the bat that I really like is the battery life. Uh, for me, iPhones have had terrible battery life uh, and the increase of the battery size to 3969 milliamps is done wonders. Uh, I think it's probably the longest lasting battery I've used this year. Uh, I like that the iPhone battery is something that you can depend on. So to me, that is a huge plus. Now, day-to-day -day using the iPhone has been, has been good, it's been solid. Um, and one of the other things that of course we do on a regular basis is take photos. And the camera on the iPhone has really stepped up this year. Now, we know they've always been good at video, um, and video has gone, taken the last step again this year. 4K60 stabilization is really good. Um, and it's, it's, it's something that I think everyone has to take a look at, especially other manufacturers to see what is Apple doing here in the video department. Now, in terms of photos, they've also stepped up their game as well. So we now have, you know, low light photography. It's easy to use. Uh, some people like the fact that, look, uh, night mode is automatic. I like that too, but I also want to be able to turn it on. Now, yes, I know iOS users are not cued to that kind of stuff, but on the 11 Pro Max, it's called the Pro for a reason. I want to have Pro features. Now, the camera app is improved and there are a lot of things that you do well, but still, Apple, simply, I just want to change my video resolution or photo resolution. I can just do it right there in the app and I have to go out. There are little things like that in iOS that kind of annoy me, uh, especially when it comes to using applications where the back buttons are the top left hand corner. I have big hands, I can get to it, but it's just dumb. So those are, the, those are the kind of things in iOS that really irk me. But like I said, don't get me wrong, the iPhone really impressed me this year. Now, as you know, I do a lot of gaming on the channel, and I've got to say, one of the things that I was very skeptical about was uh, Apple Arcade. I'm like, come on, Apple, you're just trying to like gouge money from people. You know, that, that was my mindset. Little did I know that, look, they actually have a good selection of games. Uh, I will fully recommend Apple Arcade to anyone who's a gamer, who loves to game, loves to play different types of games. Uh, it's definitely worth it. It's $4.99 a month. Um, I signed up and I haven't canceled my subscription. I had the opportunity to, but I didn't do it because uh, Apple has filled Apple Arcade with a lot of very good games, you know? Uh, just, to cut, just to name a few here for you. Now, besides the big stellar stuff, like I've, look, we'll, we'll talk about you know hardcore gaming on mobile phones in a second. But you've got things like Cat Quest 2. Yes, if you like cats, but if you like also um, adventure style games, it's a really good game. There's Punch Planet, which is kind of like a, uh, a fighting game. Uh, you do have uh, Towaga, which is a really cool game that uses light and dual joysticks there. Um, you've also got a game called Stella, which is kind of like an adventure game, very creepy, dark motif. What you notice here is the different graphical styles, again, pushing on the iPhone with that, um, you know, A13 processor, uh, and also like ballistic baseball. Uh, again, different games that fit different types of people. And, and of course, you can still play your hardcore games like, you know, Fortnite, Call of Duty Mobile which run really well on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Uh, I've actually called you mobile quite a bit, and you probably noticed a, a Razer case on this device. Now, the reason this case is here is because Razer has a case that does a lot of cooling on your device, and I have to say it is 
necessary if you game on the iPhone. The iPhone tends to run very hard, always has. Apple has no special cooling like other Android manufacturers do. Um, it's just something they just don't do. Uh, so the iPhone runs really hot. You get temperatures up to like 102 degrees or so. Uh, with the Razor case, the way it's built, it's got some special cooling pads and things like that. I've noticed it drops at least uh, the temperatures down by six degrees. So if you run 102 and go up down to like 96, then you're in par with everybody else. I like that. Why, that's why I like using this case. Granted, the case is a bit bulky, bulkier than my regular standards, but I do like what the case brings, you know, to the table. Now, in terms of other aspects of things that you can do with the iPhone that I've tried to use over the last 30 days, Siri was one of them. I stopped. It's just, again, something they need to improve. Uh, but the hardware itself has been really good. Uh, you know, you've got wireless charging, you've got fast charging now at 18 watts. You can also use a 30 watt charger to get a faster charger rate as well. So that's something to take note. Uh, I've, there are many chargers, there are anchor chargers. I'll put a list for you guys down below to allow you get a faster charger without actually spending a lot of money on, you know, one of the Apple chargers out there. Um, there's also a protective uh, screen protector from Spigen, which I do like. I know I mentioned a couple of things, but these are just the things I used on the iPhone here. Uh, it's super easy to use. Danny Wingett uh, uh, had a video about it, uh, and I have a link for you guys down below to check it out. It's cheap, it's effective, and trust me, if you buy a device like this, it's definitely worth it. Now, in terms of the colors, uh, I do like, you know, that midnight green. I think Apple's done a really good job with their color schemes this year. No, you know, I'm glad they, they've gone away from the, you know, gold every year, or a different type of gold. Uh, I like to see stuff like this. I want to see a design change. I think the iPhone line is getting stale. I'm not a big fan of the design in general. I don't like this, you know, um, fidget spinner design for the camera layout. Uh, and I think it's just, it's been, I think it was just more of, of a logistic thing because they have the molds, it's cheaper. That's how I look at things from Apple anyway. Um, and the notch, yeah, if you're an iOS user, an Apple user, you're used to it, but it's things like this to take away from screen real estate. Don't like it, especially when you're gaming. To me, it's just stupid. But hey, it is what it is. I think overall though, besides some of the negatives you've heard in this video, uh, like I said, I've been quite impressed with the iPhone this year, especially hitting the things that it didn't do well. You know, when I said covering battery life and having probably the best battery life uh, this year for any smartphone, at least with that battery size. Things like the ROG phone, yes, some of you mentioned that. Yes, it's got a 6,000 milliamp battery. It will beat any phone out there. As long as you know, even when you're gaming, it probably still would. Um, and then you've also got improved cameras and you've seen some of the images we put up here. Uh, they've done a good job improving that. Please next year include uh, night mode on the wide angle lens. Uh, but overall, the camera has been really good. The video is really solid on here. Um, and I think Apple has taken the right approach on, on these aspects here. Uh, I would like to see more um, additives to a device like this. It's priced at $1,000 or 1,000 plus. Uh, and it comes with 64 gigabytes of storage to me, which is absolutely crazy. Um, that's one thing at least Samsung does well, where if you're gonna pay that much, give enough storage. Uh, and I know that everybody wants to move people to cloud storage, but still, you're looking at something where, um, you know, you shouldn't be milking your users constantly for things like this. That being said though, those are my thoughts on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Um, I think it's a solid device. I think Apple has done a fantastic job on improving what uh, they haven't done well. There's still a few things I'd like to see, but I am happy with it so far. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions or any comments about this video, if you own an 11 Pro Max and you think everything I said is completely wrong, leave your thoughts down below. If you agree with me as well, hey, sure. I would love to hear your thoughts as well. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.